Hi guys, Bricknut30 here with another review and this time we have set 60057 and it's titled Camper Van just simply titled Camper Van um, uh, as you can see it comes with two figures one female, one male here's our female, I do like her torso print she's got a nice little um, necklace hanging over her yeah, I think it's, it's meant to be a sweater. I was just sweater. Sorry, not sweaty. I was just seeing if there was a hoodie, just to see if it was a um, sweater or a hoodie type top. But it's definitely a sweater. It could even be a polo shirt, I suppose, and whatever you want it to be. Um, this hairpiece looks like that was used in one of the Indiana Jones sets. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. Actually, I could be wrong. Cause that Looks a bit different at the back here. Never mind. There's um, there is um, printing on the back of the torso. Um, just a single-sided head. And the uh, our gentleman is exactly the same. He's got printing on his front. Jacket with a shirt of some sort underneath. Oh, he's got the hoodie top on. So he's got printed um, print on the back. And again, there's no print on the back of his head. Uh, hmm. now, this is one reason why I like Lego. You can use your imagination here. They could be boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, I don't know, couple of friends, who knows, whatever you want them to be. <laughs> so, the standard two lovebirds, we'll say, over here, out of the way. I'm going to start with the canoe on the roof. Now, I know some people prefer to build such things, but I actually think this is quite a nice um, one-piece mould. It does have two stickers on the end here, one on that side, same one on this side, which uh, I went a bit wonky with, because uh, I hate putting stickers on. I don't know about anyone else, but I hate stickers personally. They're a pain in the bottom. Anyway, I do like that as a one piece mould. That's actually one reason I wanted the set is for this. <laughs> um, now as for the camper, I actually think this looks better than the first one they did. Probably, I don't know, three, four years ago now. Which I do have. Um, and I might do a comparison video when I've rebuilt it. Because uh, it's currently in bits. But yeah, I do like the design of this one. Um, but this one's a bit better because it's got two features on the roof. One, you can remove. It's a little bit tricky, but you can remove that lid. And it reveals like a little um, storage compartment up the top here. So if you want to add any other camping bits, like a little camping stove, for example, you've got somewhere to put it. And... Um, you probably noticed this handle that actually opens up and that's where the um, two life vests and the set of oars are kept for the um, canoe a nice little uh, um, hatch there to open up um, the roof itself does pop off quite easily as you can see and this side does open um, does have the opening doors, which personally I don't think a Lego vehicle is complete without the opening doors. To me, that just completes it. <laughs> but that's just my personal opinion. Um, simple little sticker design here. There's one, two, three, four, five stickers on this. Six. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six stickers on this. Oh, eight. So there's one there as well, just a pretty little swirly design. Um, the obligatory cup in the cabin. You might be able to squeeze two figures in there, but it's just as easy to put one of them in there. Oh, hang on. Get it on camera, that might help. Be just as easy to sit a figure there, but you might 
might be able to squeeze two in there. Um, it's a bit tight to get fingers in, but the windscreen does remove easily as well, so that would make life a lot easy, a lot easier. Um, just the usual hinged pieces for side mirrors with a two by slope on it. Uh, as I said, the door opens up. There's not a lot on the inside. There's the table with another coffee cup. Because uh, in the Lego world, they love their coffee. Ooh. I just had a bit of Lego stick to my arm that's gone shooting across the surface. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, in here, it's a bit weak on these wheel arches. They keep pushing up. That's one, um, um, one downside that if you actually press on these or press on it wrong, it does um, pop the bed base up, which is what that is, just a meant to be a double bed but I think you could only get one figure on there comfortably um, I do like the window layout with a little window here symmetrically the side see symmetrically the side um, I think there could have been a bit more detail on the inside because I'm pretty certain the um, first one had more detail on the inside um, but don't hold me to that because I've still <laughs> I've still got to build it, but uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to get a figure on this seat. Be uh, sitting there. In real life, in Britain, you wouldn't be able to sit in there in a camper van. You'd have to sit up front. But uh, this is Legoland. You can do what you want. <laughs> and put our lady in. Trusted lady driver. I know ladies have the uh, a bad reputation for driving, but they're not bad. They're not bad drivers. Yeah. There we go. All back together. We put our canoe on top, and they're ready to go. <coughs> Off to go camping. Um. Yeah, I've been after this one for a while. Um. I need one more to complete the series because I've got this, I've got the car transporter, I've got the big blue tow truck, which I think these were from last year if I remember rightly. Um, this is still available on the LEGO website because I've got it up beside me on the laptop. Yeah, what else have I got? I've got the M4 before and two motorbikes. I pretty much got them all apart from the logging truck. I want the logging truck. That's the only one I need, so that's the next one I'm going to look for. Anyway, that sums up this uh, review. So, uh, if you've got any comments and your own opinions, leave them down in the comments section below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And uh, like the video if you liked it. And until next time... I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.